Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwe, joined by Olina Smolier. I beat you to it. Got it. The best <laughs> dosa in bon Bangalore. I keep messing that up because I say Bangladesh because that's how I was told you're supposed to say it. Bangalore is how you say it. The best dosa in Bangalore, part one, Kanan Gill and Kenny Sebastian. Menu, please, Netflix, India. This has been getting highly requested for a while now. We're just gonna do part one, unless unless you come back, and then we do part two. Because after the after this, she's leaving to the Ukraine forever, potentially. No, I'm not. What's the version of what's? Because in India, it's called Bollywood, right? In Hollywood, Mollywood, Hollywood. What do we call it in Russia? <laughs> Ukrainian wood. Hollywood <laughs> or Ukraine? Yollywood. I just made it up. No, just. What's the film industry called? There's no fun nickname yeah, for the, the film industry. There's no, yeah, no, no nickname. You can call it Russian wood, Ukrainian wood. That's not actually a thing, though. No, it's not. Y'all are so fun with we, names. We, we are you got, you guys have all kinds of crazy characters that are backwards and hard to understand. All these long ass names, and you can't come up with a name for your Hollywood. Okay, now we came up. Russia wood. Russia wood. All right. So she's going back to Russia wood. <laughs> trying to get her back here, so we can look at Dosa Part Two. How's it going? And welcome back to yeah. Manchester. I like We're in Bangalore, and, and it's fun. We're gonna eat some Bangalore. food. Bangalore. Uh, we're gonna go to four restaurants. Hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> Why does it look so scared? Zikin, and you're watching Menu, Please. And this is Menu, Please. Hey, guys. My name is Nick Kini, and you're watching Menu, Please. The show where we go around the city and try the best Indian food. We've had many dishes in many cities. God, but the time right. has come for us to eat the dish of destiny. I'm talking about dosa. And what better place to do this than a city that has shaped not just my life, but the lives of my guests. That's right, baby. We're in Bangalore, now we're Bengaluru, and today we're gonna go to two traditional and two gourmet restaurants in a two-part, four dosa, culinary adventure that will decide once and for all, is dosa mankind's greatest invention? My guests for today are actually my buddies, Kanan Gill and Kenny Sebastian. They're two of India's finest stand-up comedians. They're Bengaluru boys. This is where they grew up. This is where their career started. So let's get them in have some dosa. Are you guys excited to be back in our city? Always, buddy. We never left, man. <laughs> Thank you for accepting that. <laughs> four restaurants, four dosas. Do you think we get bored? No. You're talking about a normal day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then let's go to the food mobile. Hello, friends. Machas. Does. Do you guys still say da? Of oh, course. Say Sorry, it's involuntary. Once in a while, you meet someone who says ra, you know, you're like, whoa. Yeah. How do you feel about that? OG. <laughs> he asked them to leave Bangalore. He didn't do the whole episode talking straight Bangalore. What was it like, the transition from Bangalore to Bombay? Because I know how difficult it was for me. Yeah. Bombay is great for work. I couldn't have done Chai Time if I was in Bangalore. Oh. The turnaround period is insane. Okay. I can call some four guys for cameras. Call a venue like tomorrow. I'm on the venue. So like, damn, this is how Bombay works. Me <laughs> in Bangalore, one month and all, you have to be like, sir, I'm not in town only. How we'll record? Everybody works so hard, and you have to because rent is so high. <laughs> that drive to succeed, which is why I kind of moved, was it like, breaks you apart, dude, Kenny. And we're gonna see that in you in a few yeah. years. <laughs> this, this is, is just the beginning. Years, uh, it has begun, and I feel it. No, no, no. no. You will know. No, <laughs> it gets worse than this. Someone will come to you and say, "Is everything fine?" And that's you know. Oh! <laughs> 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 wow, that's It started bad. happening to me like one year after moving. Like, yeah. Is everything okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Like, okay. That happened to me also. Yeah. My Bangalore friends came to see me in that comedy club. Yeah. And they came, are you okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was sure. like, I'm fine. <laughs> but luckily now I'm re like not re. Are you able to recenter and like restructure my life? He just picks up any word that's close. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to restructure. That's he what I do sometimes. He'll go for it. He's like, I've reupholstered my life, and you're like, you know, that kind of works. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> All my school friends are still here, and so we do this thing where. I'll always get a hotel room and then we sit and we order dinner and we eat at the dining table. <laughs> Why don't you meet at someone's it's house? It's become our thing. Oh, what did you guys do before like... There's like one or two pubs that we used to go to. You go to Picos and then you walk down the road to Tibetan Plaza and you got a taste of Tibet. And you have uh, I used to do this corner house and all. Oh, for sure. Yeah, corner yeah, house is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. simple. Kenny, the first time I saw you, I was in 10th or 11th grade. What? In like 2011 or 2012, a friend of mine came up to me, uh, Pranav Birdman Bharadwaj. Uh, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Shout out to him. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know why we call him Birdman. And he's like, uh, yo, watch this. And I, I look at it, and it's this video of young Kenny with like an AI. Iron Man, oh, phaser, oh, armor. I took my uh, bathroom pipe and all. 
and I made it. I took a light fitting and I put it. And the best part is my dad. By that time, I was so used to it. I was taking a light fitting. He's like, "What is that for?" I said, "For a video." He's like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> what about you? When did you fall in love with YouTube? I started yeah. watching YouTube as soon as I got broadband. I find like really obscure sketch comedy channels, mm-hmm. and that's how I started loving sketch mm-hmm. comedy. I was like, "Okay, so this is what I want to do." Mm-hmm. And then I got a job in software, <laughs> and then I quit that job in software. Then I had free time, so I started making YouTube. Quit his job. He said six months. I have to figure this out, or I'm going back to my job. And that's when he did pretentious. This one, I realized we've been telling different stories about how we started. <laughs> so one version, it was my idea, and his version, it was his idea. I think the actual was Kenny's idea. <laughs> what? Yeah. So I think He's both of us were discussing a movie, <laughs> and then you were like, "Hey, it's funny. You guys should do this." And when did like stand up become a concept? Or so Kenny, did? I think started doing stand up a little bit before I did. I did before, but I was not as regular with it. Huh? There was a stand up comedy competition, <laughs> and I saw Karan perform. He used to be fully hyper, and he used to keep moving around the stage, yeah. which is cool because I was the only one who did that before. Uh, yeah, like he he had so much more energy back then. Insane energy. You're doing the I can't hear you bit. <laughs> oh, I was really bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, make some noise. Then I say, I can't hear you. Then I would say, MCs always have to ask you everything twice because E equals MCs equals. <laughs> 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 so energy of the audience oh. was two times from MC. Oh. And you watched stand up before? Yeah, like, yeah. Were you already a oh, stand-up? massive stand up. Okay. on YouTube. I grew up watching oh. Who's Line, Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember when I first saw Seinfeld. When the break came, mm-hmm. he used to come on stage and do jokes. Yeah. And I'm like, why is the whole show this? Rest of the day for him to do this. And then I later found out that was stand up comedy. Do you have like a routine when you come back to Bangalore? Like I have to have a. Dead by chocolate. No, I have to have a dosa. Like I'm not making this up because today's episode of dosa. <laughs> Best thing about Bangladesh, you could go to any restaurant mm. and have a dosa, and be incredible. All right, so we've reached Gandhi Bazaar in South Bangalore. We're going to Vidyarthi Bhavan. Oh, I'm very excited because uh, I actually did my college in Vidyarthi Bhavan. In Vidyarthi Bhavan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I studied dosa making. Let's do this. Hi, hi. I like the editing of this. Yeah. It's like real, it's really nice. It's not too much. It's just enough. It almost looks like a pancake. Mm-hmm. Welcome to yeah. Vidyarthi Bhavan. Good to have be you here. guys been here before? Yeah, I have. unfortunately, I have not. I have. Yes. Were you a Vidyarthi when you came here? Because I went to college right here, and this is our, this is where we used to come to all the time. I was actually really good. We used to come here after IIT tuitions. You went to IIT tuitions? Like I didn't, but. <laughs> And so but I'm there. There's always a queue outside. Yeah. You need yeah. to wait your turn. That's another thing in Bangalore, right? Uh-huh. In the other places, you can sit and chill, and after you're done with your meal, uh-huh. here it's not like that. You finished your meal, please leave. Are you guys excited to try dosa? Good. Uh, this is your first time. Uh, yeah. A slap of dosa in his dosa butter. Okay. Have you, you guys know, understand how much I like dosa? Let's break it in. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. Oh my. I don't know that I've ever properly had dosa. Oh, it's coming. The Japanese coming. I've never tried it, so I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. This reminds me of uh, it's thick and comedians. It defies the laws of dosa. cars getting coffee like, or whatever. This is the best. Mm-hmm. This thick crispy dosa is my jam. I also like thin crispy dosa, pyramid dosa. When you get the pyramid dosa, do you like immediately fold it, fan it, maintain it? Oh, that's yeah. Oh. You know, sometimes in Bombay, like I'll have a decent dosa, like out of the blue. Like sometimes, I just, yeah. <laughs> and then I come back. How dare you bring a Bombay dosa? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? No. So then I come back here. So then you remember. And then I remember that it's just been a while. What do you like? It's like your first time. What do you? Yeah. My heart is full. That's incredible. If the outside is crispy and the inside is soft. How are they doing this? Will they ever find out? Never. Like tempura. It's like two dosas in one. It's like a tattu dosa <laughs> covered by a crispy dosa. But you don't even taste the gap. Yeah. It's, it's seamless. It's like yeah. an OLED display. <laughs> There's some Japanese restaurants that do tempura yeah, green tea ice cream. Mm-hmm. Go figure that yeah, out. Yeah, I know. I tried it. You want yeah. something okay. between a thin blanket and like a quilt? It is you dosa. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. What is your opinion on chutneys? This is a very divisive subject. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys adding a race for it yeah. in the comments. Race for I like a dryer chutney, a dryer white chutney, a mystery green curry chutney. Oh, wow, <laughs> sambar. And sometimes for a twist, that peanut dryer chutney. Oh, and you should at least have ten powders that you don't know what they are. Podi and all, no? Hmm. I think it's just <laughs> extra fanfare. Like, look at this dosa. There's no podi in it. No, 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 no
Did you like what can I make with this? I like chutney with a stick. But they usually have like gutty chutney. I am missing the samba though. I wish there was a samba to dip this in. Mm -hmm. And I like sweet samba. He's wearing a you white like shirt. Yeah. Why would you wear a white shirt to Sorry, an I event like this? Cream, but why? Because I'm a sweet guy. You are be very careful with this. Every time I wear a white shirt, it gets stained. Too eating food like this, it like gets all over. I thought you guys not going to eat it, dude. What do you mean, man? Kesi bath, bro. Kesi bath is such oh a classic. It's so simplistic. It's optimum design. You can taste the ghee in this. It's hot as damn nice. Or when it's like refrigerated. It comes yeah, back you're right. Can we just zoom in on Kenny's plate? He's... We're going to clean the rest of it. Yeah. Hey, what is this, dude? Dude, I was told to pace myself. Can we play... Black and white side violin music. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Man, he's so zen. Man. I'm done for the day, dude. We're gonna lap up now. We're gonna leave. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, we everybody at uh, me, uh, me, yeah. Everybody knows when I'm in the 3D. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Leaving this dosa was very, very hard. It's time to go to CTR. Oh, oh, wow. The ending uh, was not as cool as. This is upset that I. I think we should wrap it up. <laughs> They're calling it. Vidyarthi <laughs> Bhavan was the best dosa. You all beast. <laughs> hey, Vidyarthi Bhavan's calling. Hello, you're the best. I'm sorry for Kenny leaving the dosa. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's cut the call, man. What's your problem, dude? What's your problem? You guys just met today. What's your problem? Why are you getting so close? If you're jealous, just say you're jealous. No, if you can't make a commitment, I'm gonna talk to Vidyati Bhavan. Okay? So? So? Hey, cut the car! <laughs> so we've just been watching they do, like, theater videos, Kenny. Uh, but do you miss together. those days where you could just make anything and not worry about, like, how people are gonna perceive it? It was all for you. It's so funny. Back in the day, I just wished people would see it. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, I wish people would not see yeah. it. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> when they don't like it, it doesn't I've did so many videos. videos. When did this transition happen? It was gradual and slowly I became disillusioned with the personality sales mm. establishment. Right? Oh. That's what we do. We sell personalities, mm. not content. Before, if an artist put out something, that's all you knew about them. But now, if you make a movie, you're like, I'm such a fun person, as you can see on talk shows. Won't you want to see a fun person's movies? It's not even about the product anymore. I've started liking the personality of a comedian more. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, I only liked the jokes. And that's more enjoyable because there's more context and there's more layers. Because it's impossible to just like a joke anymore. I think we're a lot more jaded now when it comes to a joke or a kind of content. Because you're like, when it starts, you're like, I've seen this before. But I think over time, we actually start liking things that are more stupid. Mm -hmm. Every time the open mic and a joke uh. works, I'm equally surprised. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, thank God! <laughs> so, you were one of the first people that hit a viral uh, format and pretentious movie review, right? right? And then you stop. Movie reviews, as much as people liked it, was an excruciating process for me. Mm -hmm. oh, I would so imagine. Did you enjoy it? Not one second. Oh, what? what? Okay, I'm because the first one was fun, we talked and we laughed and mm -hmm. I edited it and it was done. Mm -hmm. After that, I put so much pressure on myself that we would do one oh. reshoot, two reshoots, three reshoots. Jesus. I wouldn't sleep for a week. Jesus. If we keep yeah. doing this, we will be these guys. When you uh, please people too much, they mm -hmm. really love you, but they don't want you to do anything. Yeah, else. And that's they true. also get bored of you really fast. That's true. The thing yeah. that's amazing is that people still like it so much. What I saw from far was how Biswa and Karan got clubbed together. Mm -hmm. If he did a show alone, mm -hmm. They look at where's Biswa and if Biswa did a show like where's Karan? Yeah, yeah. But if you're an artist, you're like, I am here. <laughs> Listen to my set. Looking back, how, how different is it like open mics now? I don't know, I have a very uncle reaction. First of all, we should respect the minutes again. Huh. And come there for a reason. If you're gonna repeat the same joke you did last week, it gives us a lot of summer. Okay. Cults are formed where you're trying to make other comics laugh, which will get you nowhere in your career. Mm. Just make the audience laugh. If this yeah. is something that you're thinking about, you should do every possible kind of creative thing mm. that you want as soon as you can. Especially if you haven't started yet, it's the best time. Because yeah. no one expects anything from you, so do everything. Also, you've been doing this for so long, do you feel like we should stop? <laughs> Every day. Yeah. 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 Which is actually yeah. Shri Sagar, which is previously in a central Tiffin room, and that's the abbreviation. They serve very different kind of dosa, kind of similar. And today we're going to try it out and see which dosa we like better. Ooh. It's like every actor's thing. 
every little segment for Netflix. I think they should keep doing this. Why did you choose CTA? It's uh, helped with independence. And now, CTA helped with the independence? Yes, yeah, so the owner, one of them was a freedom fighter. Are you making yeah. this up? No, it's very good. That's amazing, yeah. dude. Now I want this restaurant to do it. And they've been serving the same recipe of dosa for this many years. This isn't just any masala dosa. This is Benny. Benny like Beckham. Have you guys had? Benny like Beckham. Benny it just went over his yeah. head. He didn't even pay attention to the joke. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the case. Mm -hmm. You got two this time. You have to go. Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? It looks pretty really good. Okay, architecture-wise, the construction I prefer. Minimalist packaging, thoughtful. The structural integrity is still maintained. Oh my God! <laughs> Should we do a drop test? <laughs> Do you think we should have the case about the first this time? Yeah, 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 yeah. We should, we should. Good point. See, when it's hot, it's so different. Yeah. Wonderful. Dude. Still the same? Oh man, it's so good. Man, this is also damn good, dude. Is it too early to call a type of first case? Oh my god. They've gone harder on the crisp. The crisp rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> How do you find this he was so proud of his dad joke that no one cared about. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you nail it. You nail it. They're pretty much the same school of thought. Yeah, is this the one brother that grew up on the streets, so it has street smarts. The other brother was raised with a lot of like love and care. And so in the end, they both meet today in this show. Hello, brother. I'm so happy to meet you. Why are you covered in dirt and you're sad? But then I've had a hard life, but my hard life has taught me very important lessons. You've not met our father because you're on the street. My mm. father used to say mm. that all our hardship makers could speak and taste. If we were not exposed to that, it would be a plain mm. dosa. But today, <laughs> yeah. Brother, I love you. Let's go to MTR and laugh at them. <laughs> as far as the process is concerned, like, have you sort of found your way, like the way in to getting a bit. You need to give yourself time and you need to have a very good mechanism to counter inner criticism. If both those things are in place, train every is coming. What about you? What, what is your process? So, if right now I get an idea, I'll write it down. Because I'm like, I know if I sit down, nothing comes. Okay. So just be always vigilant. Yeah. yeah. If you try to write down like a whole bit, then nothing comes. Okay. But usually you get like bullet points. Yeah. I get a beginning, middle, end usually. So I know I can take it on stage. Then you have to bomb for so long and then it becomes good. But I want to know like, how is it different for you starting out in Bangalore? All comics from Bangalore tend to have very universal bits. Bangalore trained me to make jokes that anyone can understand. Okay. The thing about the time that's hard to recapture. I had no goal in stand-up except to get better at stand -up. There's a lot riding on it now. If a thousand people are coming, I, have thousand, I can't do a bad show for a thousand people. The innocence is lost. Yeah. You know what I mean? The innocence. There's one joke I wrote for this special, which kind of mocked me. It said a bit about birds. And then I came off stage and then kind of like, really? And I was like, you wait, you son of a bitch. It's so intense with it. Yeah. Yeah. So I sometimes feel like five percent of the laughs are coming from. It's so funny how he's talking. Mm. But he's from the Bangalore. That five percent are not there. Ah. They're like, oh, you're not like us. I just feel like a direct mental. <laughs> <laughs> Having worked together for so many years. I've noticed you guys tell each other everything like we have very similar tastes but fundamentally different outlooks to stand up. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to learn mm -hmm. from each other's approach. As I said, I do most of it on stage mm -hmm. and I see how beautifully tight and rewarding a special guest because kind of after he's done with the show, he'll make notes, okay. he'll recorrect, he'll reposition, he'll change the orders. Okay. I don't do that. He's that neurotic. Mm -hmm. after the show is it's been incredible watching you guys go from Bengaluru boys uploading their YouTube videos to having a Netflix special. Thank you very much. Oh, but the time has come. We've had two traditional dosas. Oh. A very hot debate. Which dosa is better? Vidyati Bhavan or CTR? I will rate the dosas on three methods. Good, <laughs> nice, <laughs> and chill. While I feel Vidyarthi is more chill than <laughs> This is good, and that is nice. So, pick one, pick out of the two. Vidyarthi yeah. Bhavan. Yeah, come at me. Let's just not say that loud. I, no, I like this also, mm -hmm. but I just like that one better.
Agreed. Agreed after an handshake. You, you didn't give us an answer, man. And I feel like it's CTR. Yeah, I need to read between the lines. Okay, fair. CTR. Vidyati Bhavan. Vidyati Bhavan. We're not too traditional dosa. We should go over oh. nap. Yeah, a dosa sure. nap. Like, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Except, <laughs> there are two more dosas waiting for us. What? And these dosas are modern twists. On dosa. Going against our culture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was really fun. Yeah. That was a 20 minute video or 19 minutes and it moved at a clip. I didn't even feel that was like 90 minutes. I know. It moved so well. And for me, I mean, I know that you haven't been as exposed to these guys as much as I have. For me, this was a lot of fun to get that sort of inside look at their perspective on their things. Because like while their comedy is their perspective, it's mm. all refined. You know, it's all been fine-tuned as uh, well, especially in the case of Kanan Gill, who's who always refines his stuff and repositions it like Kenny said. Mm -hmm. And so to just hear them more casually, that kind of bantery conversation and see the funny that happens off camera, that's really cool. Even though it's on camera still. Yeah. Like they know they're on camera. It's a lot more chill and relaxed than going on stage and performing for an audience. This is just like people, yeah. right? Even though this video right here might get, I don't know, in the proximity of 100,000 views, let's say, or 150,000 mm -hmm. views, it's not the same as having this conversation in front of 150,000 yeah, people. Absolutely. Being able to sort of like isolate just with the three of you and the cameras there, even though there are people around, it's not like being on stage and you have that casual sort of conversation, mm -hmm. especially in the car. This yeah. very much feels kind of like the likes of the Seinfeld show, comedian in cars getting coffee or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's Hot Ones, is it called Hot Ones? The YouTube show, I should know that. <laughs> because he actually broke this down the other day because I watched his uh, show, his episode with JGL, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He talked about the process of like how the show came about mm -hmm. and whatnot. And it's like a nice interruption to the regular conversation that would otherwise just be an interview. This, I think, serves in the same way where you're learning about them, but there's also the food interruption to yeah, sort of break it's, it up. It's, it's so casual. So you just like go with your friends to eat and just like talk about their success, basically. So it's, yeah. it's great. It's very casual. Uh, one of the things that he mentioned, Kanan Gill, was his making of that show, Pretentious Reviews. And I know you haven't seen any of that, so I'm bearing that in mind. Basically, it's a review show where they talk about older films, generally speaking, at least in my experience, and they sort of break it down in a very sarcastic way, making fun of the movie. Mm -hmm. And like he said, the very first one was a lot of fun, but then there's like this pressure. And he said he would reshoot episodes. He's so neurotic about getting it right. He doesn't want to let his audience down. And I can totally relate to him. I can totally relate to Kanan Gill because I'm very neurotic when it comes to the, yeah, the way a video is crafted. Same. The editing for our channel is way more produced than is really warranted, than it really needs to be. And most people probably wouldn't notice the difference. See, I justify because in my it's, head- it's, it's your perception of like what you want to see and what you want to give it to the audience. Yes. Because I'm the same way. Yeah. Like editors with me, they're like, what do you want? I'm like this, this and that, they're like, just do it. Just do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sure. just your vision of it, and you want it to be very perfect. Right. Basically, it's the perfect way it can be. A long time ago, I, I did a, uh, a short film called Kung Fu Red, which is available on YouTube for you guys to watch. It was supposed to be just a test for like shooting on the red camera because it had first come out, and then it became a short film that actually went on to win awards. While we were in the editing process with my former best friend at the time, Michael, he was layering an audio cloth sounds. The reason I bring that up is because I go, you're spending a lot of time on this for something no one's gonna notice. No one's gonna know it's there. He's, and Michael's response was, they're not gonna know it's there, but they will know it's there. Mm -hmm. Like they know on some intrinsic level that it's there. While you cannot as an audience articulate necessarily why something's working better mm -hmm. or something's not working as well, you know intrinsically, you know inside that this just feels better. And I think that's what happens when it comes to the editing. Yeah. Like while the audience might not be able to pluck it out, there are people who would enjoy both just the same. I feel like the audience does somehow intrinsically know that something is nicer mm -hmm. There. Yes. They can't quite put their finger on it, but something is nicer. There's more heart in there. I totally like relate to Kanan Gill's like the heart he puts into it. And he puts so much pressure on himself though, that it gets to the point that it sort of hurts himself. And that's the thing that is concerning that a lot of perfectionists struggle with. And I aim to have what Kenny has where he's just sort of like more casual with it. Yeah. And he does make modifications to his humor. He's not as neurotic about it. Like you and I could both probably use some of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> them breaking down the food legitimately makes me want to eat this like now. Yeah. And go Have you ever tried it? No, I don't think I've ever had what, what, dosa. What's actually in dosa? Like what, what's in that? This is completely new to me. The food legitimately looks good and I now I want to eat it right this second. Uh, I would <laughs> um, like to try it. It looks like a pancake. I don't even know. It's like it's sweet sauce or not sweet sauce or like... Well, it's different flavors. They, they have... Um, I think they, they all have savory and sweet sauces in there. It's a little mixture of both. 
What's the name of the host again? Uh, Nick Hill. The first time I watched him, I believe was when he did a collaboration with Jordan Indian on the Netflix channel. I think he did a great job of hosting this video, bringing out certain mm -hmm. topics of conversation and asking the right questions and just allowing them to play off of each other and be them. He held this video really, really, really well. Obviously, Kanan Gill and Kanae Sebastian, like I think anything they do is just naturally gonna be funny, but mm -hmm. you still need a good host. And I think he, yeah. he did a great job of hosting here. Kudos to the editor, man. Like the editor of this video. This is so good. This is, I feel like this is good enough content just for Netflix. I'm glad that they're offering this for free on Netflix India's YouTube mm -hmm. channel. It's really just a means to kick you over to the content that's on Netflix from Kenny Sebastian and Kanan Gill. I would totally watch this if it was a series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm hoping that this does become something. That would be really cool. And maybe you can have in substitute like guest comedians and whatnot. This is just a cool show. I think this is great. It kept me entertained for 20 minutes. It just flew by. The way it's shot and edited is great. I, I like how the way like the editor did it. Really, again, I didn't feel it was like for 20 minutes. I was like, huh, what, we, yeah. what? What's 20 minutes? The ancillary thing that's also great is just the people. Like, you know that this is so casual and there was no sign. Like, people are just like, what? What's going on here? They're just like looking and whatnot. I thought that was awesome. Just the people just kind of casually like, just, you know, looky lose and whatnot. That happened to me a lot while I was in India where people were just sort of staring at me while yeah. I'm shooting videos. Cause it's not, well, where I was, I suppose, even though I was basically in Mumbai, even though where I was is basically where they make movies and stuff. Like people were still staring at me as I mm -hmm. shot videos of myself, you know, vlogging and whatnot. I just found that fascinating. And I was told in the comments it's because people don't generally see that. I'm like, mm -hmm. really, even in Mumbai? Yeah, it's just, you know, cool. And now I want to go to those restaurants and have that food. Yeah. It's also a great advertisement for those restaurants. Absolutely. You know, it's Absolutely. smart. Um, anyways, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please check out Alina Smolier on the social media, as well as the jabs if you feel like doing that. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Alina Smolier. Peace out.